Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Shravya. In today's activity, we'll be learning how we can use illustrations in a story to describe its characters, setting, and events. Let's get the activity started. For this activity, you will need crayons, two pieces of paper, a marker, scissors, and some glue. We will base our drawing off of this story. Froggy lived on a little lily pad in the middle of a small, calm pond. Froggy loved to take naps underneath the bright pink water lily. One day, Froggy woke and found his pink water lily to be gone. Oh no, thought little Froggy. So he searched high and low. Even though he searched all around the pond the whole day, he did not find it. As Froggy fell asleep that night, he made a wish from the bottom of his heart that as he awoke the next day, his pink water lily would be there. As he woke up the next day, something bright caught his eye. His bright pink water lily had come back. Froggy was very happy to have his lily back. So after a lot of excitement, Froggy once again went to take a nap underneath his pink water lily. Let's go ahead and first draw out a scene from the story. I will choose the beginning of the story, where Froggy is seen to be napping underneath the water flower lily. Feel free to choose any moment in the story that you would like to draw. Okay, I have my drawing done now, so let's take a closer look at the story. This story focuses on one main character, and that is Froggy. He is the one in the story that's been looking for his lost water lily. Now, let's figure out what setting this story takes place in. The first sentence of the story describes the setting. Therefore, the setting in this story is the pond. Great, now we've identified the character and setting of our story. Next, let's talk about the event that has happened in the story. We can break down our story into the beginning, middle, and end. In the beginning of the story, Froggy wakes up and finds that his water lily is gone. In the middle of the story, Froggy decides to look everywhere for his water lily. In the end of the story, Froggy finds that his water lily has come back. Now that we know all the parts of our story, let's go ahead and label them in our drawing. Take one piece of paper and cut it into thirds, and then fold those thirds in half. To make sure that you're folding your paper into thirds, you can fold them this way first. I folded it into three sections. Now, I can go ahead and cut at the lines that these sections have formed. I have cut my sections into three pieces of paper, as you can see here. Now, I will take these three sections and fold them into halves. As you can see, I have a section that is folded into halves. Now, for all three of these sections, they will look like three little tents. Now, next to your froggy on your paper, glue one of the folded pieces of paper, like so. In the middle of the drawing, glue another of the folded pieces of paper, like so. Near the edge of the paper, glue down your last folded piece of paper, like so. Now, on the piece of paper next to where Froggy is, write the word character on the top of the fold. On the inside, we will write Froggy. On the piece of paper in the middle of your drawing, write the word setting. In the inside of the paper, write the words the pond. On the last piece of paper, write the word events. On the inside, write beginning, middle, End. Now, we will go to what the beginning event was. The water lily was missing when Froggy woke up.
Now, for the middle, we will write that Froggy looks everywhere for his water lily. Then, at the end, we will write that Froggy found his water lily. Ta-da! We have finished our fun drawing labeled with the parts of our story. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channels and we will be back with more videos.